Aside from their last second win over Homestead, East Noble has quietly won four in a row in the NHC. Meanwhile, Columbia City has been in a dogfight three of the last four weeks. Both teams are 5-1 and one overall. The uh, defense has really uh, stepped up over the last couple games, and the uh, O-line has given uh, Dove some time to throw the ball, which we've been really effective at. We're used to the big game atmosphere, so th I think all those previous games have just helped us really get, get prepared for this game. The Knights are the lone undefeated in the conference and can distance themselves with a win, or Columbia City can create a possible four-way tie for the lead with a victory. It's nice to be in the position where we are, but uh, you know all that can change in one night if uh, if, if we don't keep doing what we're what we've been doing. It's going to be a matchup with their offense against our defense, and then our offense is going to have to start fast and put some points on the board. It's not going to be a seven to nothing game by any stretch of the imagination. Columbia City beat East Noble 17-13 in sectionals last year, snapping an eight-game losing streak to the Knights. It's a game both teams remember vividly. We ended their season last year in the sectionals. I know that was big for them, so that's just going to make the atmosphere that much more tense. They're five and one, just like we are. Um, they're fighting for a spot, and you know we just want to. We got to fight more. And if my biggest concern is that uh, they're going to want it more than us, but I don't think they are. Coach said last week that uh, they picked us to win an upset special, and he said that he's sick of us being in the upset win. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for us to be picked and not yeah. be an upset. The biggest key for this Friday's game is uh, coming out and smelling blood, and who wants it more?